Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Anna Jonesboro High School. It's championship night in the Anna Jonesboro 2A Regional, and we've got the Mules taking on Massac County for the championship here at Anna Jonesboro. You are listening and watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the Mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and Brighton jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 5.30. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau. A membership that means something. High School Volleyball is brought to you on Meal Nation by Rush Appliance and Furniture, Wax Flowers and Gifts, Christina Copeland Country Financial, the Fairfield Banking Company, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, Potts Family Pharmacy, the Conard Financial Group, People's National Bank, Wabash General Hospital, RJ Marketing, Hashtag No Tan Lines, Carter Trucking, Wayne County Farm Bureau, FNB Fairfield National Bank, and Carnaby Square. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Turner, Bob Ellis, and Grady Simpson alongside tonight. How's it going, guys? Uh, electricity is in the air for oh, the regional yeah, oh, championship. Yeah. I'm excited for this game. Me Hopefully too. it's a good turnout, get another win here so we can continue on. Mules won in two sets on Tuesday night over West Frankfurt to advance to the championship match. The Mules now 31-5 and overall. They're riding a 17-match winning streak. Massac County beat Johnston City in two sets Tuesday to advance. Massac now 29-7 and on the year. This is the third time these two teams have met this year. Mules have won both, both in two sets. And anybody will tell you that knows sports, that's a coach, that's around sporting events, it's awfully tough to beat a, time, beat a team three times in one season. Hey, hopefully they can do it here tonight. You better believe it. Winner here tonight is going to advance to the Pinckneyville sectional at 5.30 p.m. on Monday. They'll play the winner of the Chester Regional. It will be either Nashville or Carterville. A couple of very good volleyball programs from around the southern Illinois area. Mules are going to go with their normal starters. It's going to be Emerson Robbins, Riley Edwards, Kate Book, Lucy Britt, the libero, Mabry Ellis, Gracie Atwood, Kinsey Turner, and Kaylee Barger. For Massac County, Monique Hart will be in the starting lineup along with Katie Frazine, Sophie Borman, Seely Culver, Brooklyn Burnett, Addie Gowers, Lakin Vickers, 
Libby Conkle. She'll be the libero. Abigail Martin and Hannah Edwards. We've got the official starting lineup from the PA announcer and the national anthem and the first serve of the night. That's coming up in just a couple of minutes. You are listening to Meal Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. Massac County has finished its warm-ups. The Mules are finished with their warm-ups, and we're going to get set for the official announcement of the starting lineups, the announcement of the officials for tonight's game, the National Anthem, and the first serve here at Anna Jonesboro High School. Libero, a junior, number 11, Libby Popwell. 
Another outside, number 21, the senior, Sophie Borman. And the middle hitter, a senior, number 5, Monique Hart. The late game hit was coached by Mr. Zach Miller and assisted by Mr. Leslie Gomez. Mr. Mark Mazzell and Mr. Caroline Hayes. And now, let's get reserves for the home team on the scoreboard. The Fairfield Lady and Mules. Number seven, a sophomore, Corey Sutton. Number 14, a sophomore, Ava Best. Number 15, a sophomore, Catherine Newman. Number 20, senior, Alexis Klein. Number 21, a sophomore, Lily Casey. And the number 22, a junior, Lady Clark. And now the Lady Mules starter at DS, number three, the senior, Chelsea Puff. At middle, a freshman, number 17, Kinsley Turner. Opposite, another freshman, number eight, Gracie Atwood. And defensive specialist, number two, a junior, Mabry Ellis. And outside hitter, number 25, the senior, Kaylee Barber. Number 10, a junior, Riley Edwards. Another outside hitter, number 9, a junior, Emerson Robbins. And Miller, number 11, senior, Kate Cook. And at the barrel, a senior, number 29, Lucy Brick. The Lady Mules are coached by Chet Snyder, assistant coach of Quebec Home, and Dickie Vasco. Live chat is on tonight on Mule Nation. And we've already got some action on the live chat tonight, Bob. Oh, yeah. I want to give a shout-out to Derek Dunn. He commented and said, eating supper and watching Lady Mules volleyball. Go Lady Mules. And don't forget Mules playoff football this Saturday. You know, really wish you could be here with us, Derek, but we're glad that you're still able to sit at home and watch it with us. You better believe it. Volleyball Lady games are the same without you. Lady Mules come in 31-5. and five. They've won 17 straight. Massac County is 29 and 7. This is the atmosphere that you expect a regional championship. Should oh, the yeah. Mules win, they'll move on to Pinckneyville to take either Nashville or Carterville on on 5:30 p.m. on Monday evening, Halloween night. All there right, teams are getting set, and we are just about set for action here at Anna Jonesboro. Angela Vaughn, and sorry, Angela Vaughn says, "Let's go." We also got John Rice watching from Gahanna, Ohio. Boy, let me tell you, it is loud in this gym tonight. You can just very feel the energy. loud, and there is a huge crowd from Fairfield here tonight. That's awesome to see, especially whenever a game is this far away. You know, still got this much support. I mean, that's just awesome. You saw Latrell Snyder from the Mules football team. He's in the house tonight. And we are just about set for action here. Looks like the Mules will have the first serve. They are the higher seed, of course. And even with all these Fairfield supporters here, I mean, we still have 110 people on the stream right now, which is just incredible to me to see that. Thank you for joining. We appreciate it. Definitely. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Got Trevor Bradley saying, cheering on the Mules <laughs> and number 10 from Charleston, Illinois. Go Mules. All right, Lucy Britt is going to have the first serve of the match for the Mules. Britt is set, and we are set for the first serve of this championship match here at Anna Jonesboro High School. Winner moves on, the loser goes home. There is the serve into the back row. Now they'll set it to the far side. It's blocked by the Mules. That was Riley Edwards with the block. Now they'll get it to the left side. And there is a point for Massac County to start the ball game. Got Kathy Feely saying, go Lady Mules, Ma Snyder, Madman Layla, and I are cheering you on tonight from Champaign. We also got Jeff Wise watching from the hood once again. Southeast third for now, heading to New Hope for basketball. And the Patriots are getting ready to serve here. Everyone like is clapping. Be 
Adeline Gower. The Patriot fans are off to our left side. The Mule fans to the right side. There's a large contingent across the way as well. Gower's first serve is going to be deep. They'll set it up to Edwards. Over to Robbins. Robbins blocked at the net. Now Massac County brings it up. They'll tip it over and tip it out of bounds. There's a point for the Mules. Gracie Atwood going to check in for Mabry Ellis here, and Riley Edwards heads back for the serve. Edwards goes deep, gets it to Conkle. They'll set it to the outside. Tip across for out Lady Mills. That's out of bounds, and it's a 2-1 lead for, wait a minute, yeah. They do give it to the Lady Mules. I thought they were overruling that. I was going to say, that looked out. That was pretty close. 2-1, Lady Mules. What an electric atmosphere here at Anna Jonesboro High School. Edwards brings it up just about now. From the back row, that's tipped up. Mules get it up. Lucy Britt's going to just knock it over. She gets it up. Now it Massac going to the far side. There's the tip. It's tipped up by the Mules. Edwards over to Robbins, and Robbins takes it down the line. And that's a point for the Mule. Massac fans do not like that call. Jess Snyder is going to get some clarification, but at any point, it's a 3-1 lead for the Lady Mules. Edwards is set. Over to Massac. They'll set it to the far side. Massac takes it down, and there's a point for Massac. Massac looks like they have come to play tonight. Yeah, wow. It's been a while since I've been in a gym this loud. The libero, Libby Conkle, is going to serve for the Patriots now. They trail the Mules, 3-2, first set. Down the middle. That yeah. one from the three-meter line. Robbins takes it down. That makes it 4-2, Lady Mules. And Robbins will go back to serve. Typically in that far left corner is where she serves from. She is there. Nice serve, and that is an ace by Robbins. 5-2, Lady Mules. I see Bob and Grady are sporting their Mule Nation temporary tattoos. Oh, yeah. I saw the Claire got on my text. I was like, I need some of those as soon as possible. Robbins. Oh. And another ace by the Lady Mules, Emerson Robbins. It's 6-2. And Robbins off to a good start with those points there. Goodness. And that is going to be key in tonight's ball game. Oh, yeah. Who can limit their service errors? Robbins looking for her third point. Sends it deep. Conkle will get it up. They'll bring it across. Britt over to Edwards. Down to Barger, and Barger was blocked at the net, and that's going to be a point for Massac County. What a block there. This has been quite the rivalry over the last few years. Massac County and Fairfield, they've met twice this year, but you can count Years pass. They meet in tournaments. They meet in regionals. Oh, yeah. Massac to serve. Mules get it up. Down to the back row to Robbins. That one dug out by Massac. Massac again out. hits it out of bounds. Massac expecting some contact at the net. Did not get it, and it's 7 3 Mules. Kinsey Turner in for the Mules. Chessie Cuff in for the Mules. She will serve. Across that front line, it's going to be Turner, Edwards, and Barger. Massac again. They'll get it over to the far side for Hart. That tipped over by the Lady Mules. And now Massac fighting to keep it alive. Free ball. Lady Mules will set it up for Turner. Turner takes it down, and that's a point for the Lady Mules. No. It's out. 
It was a close one, but it was it just was over the close. line. Seven four now. Lady Mules on top of Massac County. That was close. That was. That one was hard to tell. Britt. They look to the far side. That's to the in. right side, and that one is yeah. in. And that was Riley Edwards with the spike, and they're going to call it out. Now there's still some discussion on the floor. I'm pretty. That one really looked in. That it time. did look in. Yeah. I think it was just right in between the lines. So there's that other one there where they were yelling. I'm pretty sure that one might have been out, but that one that really one looked was, in. That one was okay, they're going to give it to the Mules. Good. 8-4 now, and Mabry Ellis in to serve for the Mules. Oh? Whoop, no. Wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, now they get it right. Mazak was going back to serve, hoping to get away with something. They are not happy about that call. <laughs> no, they're not, not happy. And I believe it was the right call. I, I really do think so. It, looked, it was right in that corner, but it looked in. Ellis with the serve from the middle. Conkle. They'll get it over to Hart. Hart takes it down, and she'll bring it down. The Mule's got a hand on it and hit it right into the net. Mm -hmm. It's 8-5 now. Monique Hart will serve here for Massac County. We got Chrissy watching from Cleveland, Ohio. Let's go Mules and Riley Edwards. We also got Paula Proctor, go Lady Mules and Riley Edwards, watching from Chandler, Indiana. And we also have Scott Price, who is Chet's cousin from Martinsville. Good luck, Lady Mules. Hart brings it across. Mules try to set it up. Edwards, a nice little yeah. tip from the middle. And the Mules get the point right back. It is 9-5. Edwards County still hanging around, though. Now Kaylee Barger back to serve for the Mules. Jump serve from Barger. Now they'll set it to the far side. It's brought down and blocked out of bounds by the Mules. And that makes it a 9-6 ball game. Massac County just kind of hanging around. They substitute very liberally. And they've got some height on this team. Oh, yeah. Massac ready for the serve. Britt over to Edwards. Edwards takes it cross court for yeah. Robbins, and Robbins takes it down. And Robbins makes it an 11-6 ball game, or 10-6 rather. Back to the top of the serving order, and Lucy Britt now for the Mules. Britt takes it across. Now they'll set it far side. That block wow. at the net, and it's going to be a point for the Mules. 11-6. Rebecca Richardson says, let's go, Lady Mules. Keep up the energy cheering on you from Mahomet. I think that's Mahomet, it. Mahomet, Illinois, yep. Yeah. Just east of, or west of Champaign. There's a long spike. Edwards tries to go for Robbins. Robbins from the three-meter line. Gets it across. Massac digs it out. Now a tip. It's blocked at the net by Edwards. Back over now the spike again, and it was tipped at the net and then dropped into an empty spot in Could the dual defense, and it's 11-7. Wow. Keeping this game close. Got Ruthann Ramsey saying, Mom's pacing the floor in Tennessee. <laughs> Massac County trailing by four. Edwards will take it over. Yeah. It was tipped at the net and then dropped right behind the Massac front line. And the Mules get the service back. It's 12-7. Riley Edwards back to serve for the Lady Mules. Gracie Atwood has checked in for Mabry Ellis. A little more height on that front line for the Lady Mules. Edwards with the jump serve. Conkle, the libero. 
Takes it up. Take Missed it hit again. right over the net, and the Mules take it down for a point. That was a definite miss hit by Massac County, and it gives the Mules another point. Time They've out. got a timeout on the floor. You're listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Needing a website or business cards, a flyer for your upcoming event, we do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today at 618-315-3611 or email claire at raylanjames.com to see how we can help your business grow. Go Mules! Mules Volleyball is brought to you on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing by Carnaby Square, FNB Fairfield National Bank, Wayne County Farm Bureau, Carter Trucking, Hashtag No Tan Lines, RJ Marketing, Wabash General Hospital, People's National Bank, the Connard Financial Group, Ox Family Pharmacy, the Fairfield Save A Lot, the Fairfield Banking Company, Christina Copeland, Country Financial, Wax Flowers and Gifts, and Rush Appliance and Furniture. Got a comment from Derek Dunn. Lady Mules have to keep controlling the front line. Riley with the swing hits and Moe with the kills. For the Lady Mules, Riley Edwards with the jump serve. That is brought down. Massac digs it out. They look to the far side. That is tipped way oh. deep. And the Lady Mules could not save it. And that's a point for Massac County. 13-8. Thirteen eight. Thank you for joining us on Mule Nation tonight. The live chat is open if you'd like to get a comment in. Over 154 people watching now. On the far side, oh, Waller takes it in. down and puts it down. Nineteen eight Mules. Emerson Robbins had nine kills in the first set the other night against West Frankfurt. She might have just as many tonight. I'm guessing five mm -hmm. or six already. She's already got a good start going. She will serve, and that is way long. The serve goes back to Massac County. It's 14-9. The Mules with the five-point lead over the Lady Patriots. Winner heads to Pinckneyville at 5.30 p.m. Monday against the winner of the Sparta Regional. It will either be Nashville or Carterville. Mules tip it over. Now Massac sets it up to the far side. They'll tip it over. Diving save by the Mules. Now they'll just get it over. Massac in the middle for Hart. And Hart took it down. It was touched by the Mules and then knocked out of bounds. 14-10. Got uh, Ann Lowry saying, go Lady Mules. Massac seems to play much better when they have Hart in the middle. Oh, yeah. Long. Now they'll get it over to the other side for Barger. Massac again, and it's blocked at the net, knocked down. Mules could not get to it. 14-11, Massac making a run here. Now the Massac fans getting into it. Over to Edwards. Edwards back to Robbins. Robbins Comes takes in. it down. Yep. And that yep. is a point mule. Massac not happy with that one again, but I mean, I'm pretty sure that one's in. Yeah. 15-11. Looks like Chelsea Cuff will check in to serve now for the mules. I think that one was even closer than the other one. And yeah. It, and it was still in. I just can't be happy with anything. Nope. Uh, Sheila Zerlini saying, let's go, girls. The far side again for oh. Hart. It's tipped at the net. Good Mules save, save it. Get it over from Barger. Yeah, Barger sends go. it over. And 16-11, Mules get that serve back. Wanda Britt in the chat saying, checking in from Indianapolis, go Lady Mules. Also have Ann Lowry again saying, my number three, go Chelsea. She has the serve. She just got the point. Now to the far side for Hart. Mules dig it out. They look over for Robbins. Robbins just tips it. 
A close one, he said it. Now, it's brought over, free oh. ball for the Mules, and they oh. cannot handle it. And that gives Massac County the serve back. It's now 16-12, Massac just kind of hanging around, and we thought this would be a back and forth match like that. And it's, it's proven it is, 16-12 right now. Massac County with the serve. Get it over for the Mules. Now they'll set it to the back oh, row for oh. Robbins, and Robbins didn't get it up backspin on it and sails out of bounds. That makes it a three-point ball game, 16-13 in favor of the Mules. This is as close as Massac's been in a few minutes. Massac trying to make their run. Mules, Riley Edwards going to set it up. Over to Barger. Barger takes it down. Massac sets it up again. Over to Edwards. Edwards tips it across. A little swing shot that she's so fond of doing. Now the Mules set it back up. Free ball now. Britt hits it over. Massac. Going to return it. Long serve. Now Edwards forth. once again got it over Barger. Barger tried to take it down. Dug out by Massac. Great rally, but the Mules get the point when Massac hits it out of bounds. It's 17-13. Looks like Mabry Ellis is going to check in for the serve. The lead official chatting with one of the side officials, the corner officials here. We'll see what they do here. Massac wanted a violation on the Mules on that spike by Barger. But they do give the point to the Mules. Okay, Mabry Ellis in. She will serve. Ellis is ready. 17-13. There's the serve from Ellis. Massac setting it up. On the corner, Ooh. Britt, a nice dig out. Now the Mules set it up. Tip over by Robbins. Massac will save it. Now back That's across out. and out of bounds. 18-13, Lady Mules. After the match, we hope to talk with a very happy Chet Snyder. Oh, yeah. Win or lose, we'll talk with the coach. Ooh. That one dug out by Massac. Mules set it up. Edwards looking for Robbins. Robbins just tips it across. Dug out by Massac. Now on the far side. They'll take it down, and that is on the line, and it's going to be a point for Massac County. They've got the serve back, trailing by 4, 18-14, and Monique Hart back to serve. Man, I thought that one was out there. I would much rather have Monique Hart is serving as opposed to playing in the middle. Hart serves deep. Now the Mules going to back set it over to Edwards. Edwards takes it down. And that one just out, oh. and it's going to go over to Massac County. Some of those, it's just hard to tell. 18-15, yeah. Massac County back to serve. Monique Hart. Massac fans on their feet, stomping and clapping. Now over to Robbins. Robbins will take it down. It's dug out by Massac right at the net. Looked like a net violation, but no call. Now Edwards sends it across. Gets it over for Barger Hart. And now Massac brings it across. They'll, oh! And that is going to be a point for the Lady Mules, 19-15. Massac puts on a run. The Lady Mules have answered every challenge by the Lady Patriots. Massac County sets it up far side, right to the middle. It's blocked oh. and a flank for the Mules. Mules within five of getting a first set victory over Massac County. It's 20 to 15 now. Long set served by the Mules. Massac from the third row. It's blocked oh. by the Mules. Massac sends it across. Now a free ball for the Mules. They'll set it up to the far side. It's taken down. 
And that is a point for the Lady Mules, 21-15. Biggest lead of the match for the Mules. Finally starting to get that lead there. It's just what we needed for this set. Time out on the floor. We'll take one as well. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC, wireless or service fees may apply. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know helping people you love. Coming out of the timeout, Mules, Chelsea Cuff set to serve. The Mules leading by six here, 21-15, set one. Here at the championship match at the Anna Jonesboro Regional. Got some more commentary from Double D here. Put the pedal to the metal, Lady Mules. Momentum has swung away to the past few minutes. And the Mules get another point, 22-15 now. Three more. Mules very focused, and they've kept those service errors. They have not had a service error in this match thus far. Massack sends it far side. No, in the middle, tip. Massack will send it over this time. Oh. And Mules, front line, reached for it and could not get it. That breaks the serve. It's 22-16 now. Massac County fans, back to clapping. That's sip deep for the Mules. They'll get it over for Robbins. Robbins took it down. It's dug out by Massac County. They'll get it to the far side for the spike. It's dug out by the Mules. Whoa. Nice diving Save save it. by the Mules. Lucy Brick gets it over. Now Massac County to the far side once again. Ooh. And that's a point for Massac County, 22-17. Mules still in front by five here. This one could go anybody's way. Mm -hmm. Martin with the serve. Now over to Edwards. Now to Robbins. Robbins will take it down. It's hit back over by Massac. Massac tipped it over. Now they'll tip it over once again. Robbins over to Edwards. To Robbins. Oh. She's blocked at the net, and that's a point for Massac County. 22, 18 now. Still set one of this one. We've got a bunch of new viewers on the stream. Be sure to comment where you're watching from. Edwards sends it across for Robbins. Robbins takes it down, oh, and that's a point for the kill. Mills. 23, 18. Lucy Britt back to serve for the Mules. Into the lineup. He is going to be Kate Book. Britt with a couple of points and hits it right into the net. Another point for Massac County, 23-19. That time Britt tried to take a little mustard off of it and send it just over the net, maybe tip it over the net, and could not do it. And that one hit right into the net for Massac County. Now 24-19, and it's set point for the Lady Mules. Riley Edwards going back to serve. Uh, Julie Shreve in the chat saying, let's go, finish this. One more point, and it is finished for this set. See if she Riley can get it Edwards here. Hits the serve. Massac 
Sends it to the corner. Yeah! And it's blocked, and that's a win for the Mules. 25-19 in set one here at the Anna Jonesboro Regional Championship match. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conard Financial Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, right next to Save-A-Lot. The Fairfield Sigal, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes the meals a great season, open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats, all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Need any type of excavating work done? Carter Trucking can help you out. You can also get your rock, dirt, sand, or gravel at Carter Trucking. Plus, ask about bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. Jeremy and Nikki and the crew at Carter Trucking in Fairfield say go mules. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. Lady Mules Volleyball is brought to you by Carnaby Square, FMB Fairfield National Bank, Wayne County Farm Bureau, Carter Trucking, Hashtag No Tan Lines, RJ Marketing, Wabash General Hospital, Eagles National Bank, the Conard Financial Group, Potts Family Pharmacy, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, the Fairfield Banking Company, Christina Copeland Country Financial, Black's Flowers and Gifts, and Rush Appliance and Furniture. Great set one here. The Mules take it 25-19, and they... End it like they started it, Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, an Emerson Robbins point to start the match. The set, rather, and an Emerson Robbins point to end the match. Let's hope we can keep a good lead in this one, too. We got some more comments here. We got Scotty Cuff. Chelsea's dad says, I'm watching Lady Mules. We got Derek Dunn. Heck of a first set. Great job, Lady Mules. I agree with that, Derek. That was an exciting set, and I'm sure this one's going to be just as good. Massac County going to have the first serve to start this second set. We got Kara Vinson saying, woohoo, go Lady Mules. Also got Trisha Mason. Great job, Lady Mules. And we're going. Edwards looks over for Robbins. Robbins, a long serve, and the first point of the set goes to Emerson Robbins on the spike. Man. Getting set for high school basketball for you on Mule Nation. If you'd like to be a part of helping to sponsor Mule Nation, shoot Claire or myself an email at claire at raylanjames.com or mark at raylanjames.com. Robinson with the spike takes it down and just a bit out 
out of bounds, and it's a 1-1 ball game. We've got a full slate of high school boys and girls basketball coming up for you. And we're working on possibly having some wrestling matches for you because the wrestling team, is the Mules wrestlers, are going to be very good this year. I feel like that would be some exciting stuff to watch, too. You betcha. Cockle with the serve. Robin sets it up. Over two. Tips it over. That was Kate Book with the little tip shot. And Book makes it a 2-1 Mules lead. Gracie Atwood's going to check in for the Mules. Riley Edwards back to serve. Mules oh. looking to close out a regional championship in two sets here. I was waiting for the comment, Derek. He says, book it, says Kate. I was waiting for that. Now Edward or Massac oh. takes it down. Nice dig oh, out by the Mules. It. They'll that send it over. No Save way. It. Now over to the Sarge. That was oh, hard. Oh, oh, blocked at the net. Oh, it's a wow. one lead for the Mules. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little Kate bad there. Kate Buck got the block. <laughs> that was great. That she was gets awesome. the point and the block on Hart. Wow. And Edwards will go back to serve. Mules leading this one 3-1. Looking to close things out in two. Edwards with the jump serve. Now they'll send it to the far side. That's brought down, and Britt, oh, double oh, hit, double hit. Yeah. Britt dug it out brilliantly, and Robbins got caught off guard and had to stop it with her arm and then popped it up with the hand and double hit, mm -hmm. and that gives Massac County the serve back. It's 3-2. to two. Up to 190 views on the stream. Well, thank everyone for watching. We certainly appreciate it. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to Mule Nation, please do. Turn on those notifications, too, so you know whenever we're live. Robbins mm. from the back row tried to take it down and sends a little bit deep, and it's 3-3 three to three now. Tipped it over. It's number 11 there. Did that? That was Kate Book. Just again, I apologize. I don't really know. I don't completely know everyone's names since I'm not from Fairfield. So, just gonna leave that up to Mark. I know some of them, just you know, but I try my best. And that's Robbins with the serve. Keep it going. Lucy Britt. Gets it over for Barger. Barger with the That's tip. Point. That's another point for the Mules. 5-3. Mules up by two. Now Robbins again with the serve. That's a deep serve. Massac County digs it out. They'll set it up to the far the side. Block. Blocked again at the net yes. by the Mules. 6-3, Mules. Getting a good start to this set here. Certainly so. Back deep again. They'll set it over too hard on the far side. Ooh. And Hart. Takes it down for the spike, for the kill. Six four now, Massac County with the serve. Takes it over, that's a long serve and a service error, and it's seven four, Mules. Looks like Chelsea Cuff is gonna check in for the Mules also is Kinsey Turner. Cuff will serve here. Chelsea Cuff out top. Now they look to the far left side. That's knocked out of bounds. You got to wonder if Massac is starting to feel the pressure now. Yeah. I mean, we're early in this second set, but they've had a Quite a few miss hits mm -hmm. in the last couple of minutes. Pressure is there. And there's man. another one. And that's another point for the Lady Mules. 
Nine four. three now, nine four now. For the Lady Mules, Chelsea Cuff to serve. Hart from the outside, and Mules could not handle that kill. And Massac County gets the serve back 9-5 to five now for the Mules. Kaylee Barger back into the ball game. Hart to serve for Massac County. Barger oh, takes it over, it's blocked to the net. What a Britt save. gets it to Robbins. Robbins will get it up top. There's another miss hit. It's tipped over by Massac County. Robbins, or rather Barger. Barger to the outside. Massac County gets it over. Good. Real point. Massac, working it over. Mules get the ball. Edwards sets it up. Nice spike attempt by Barger. Massac digs it out. Now Barger over to Edwards. Gets it to Robbins. Robbins <laughs> takes it down, wow. and that's a point for the Mules. Wow. 11-5. Keeping it going. Massac takes a timeout. You are watching a new nation powered by RJ Marketing. We're all familiar with the three watts, what it is, what can it do for me, and what does it cost? At Country Financial, we can help you with the answers with insurance coverage to help protect what's most important to you, all at a price you can afford. So while you're juggling work and kids, while you're trying to keep an eye on your future, we'll make sure we're one of the first ones there when you need us most. What should you do next? Call Country Financial Representative Christina Copeland at 618-842-2185 to chat about your insurance needs. Need a place to hold indoor practices, athletic training, or a birthday party? Give Carter Trucking a call at 618-842-2022 and ask about availabilities at the Carter Sports Academy on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Need any type of excavating work done? Carter Trucking can help you out. You can also get your rock, dirt, sand, or gravel at Carter Trucking. Plus, ask about bulk mulch, decorative landscaping rock, and asphalt patch. Jeremy and Nikki and the crew at Carter Trucking in Fairfield say go mules. Mules with the serve here. It's Riley Edwards. Edwards takes it short this time. In the middle. Tip up by Massac County. Now they'll get it for Barger. Barger takes it down just about a point. Massac to the middle. Takes it over. Mules save. dig it out. Now over to Barger once again. Barger takes it down. Back for Massac County. Edwards looking for Robbins. Three middle oh. line. That one. Drug Drug out by Massac. Cockle for Massac County. Gets it over. That one goes right over for Massac County. Now from the three-meter line, Massac County. Edwards looking for Turner. And that is going to be a hit and a point for the Mules. 12-5. We have Ben Pope in the chat asking if we'll be doing the football game on Saturday. And we will, but it will be audio only. It will be audio only. We have, I guess, been blocked. Yeah. Um, Not allowed. To say, but uh, we will have audio coverage for you. Britt with a nice Ooh. block. She hit the rafters up top and it bounced right down. And that's a point for Massac County. 12-6, Mules leading Massac County. Anyway, as I was saying, audio coverage only from 
North Mac on Saturday afternoon on Mule Nation. About 145, 150 with the pregame show. Derek Dunn and myself on the call. We've officially hit over 200 viewers on the stream right now. A nice spike by Massac and a nice attempt at a dig by the Mules and could not get it going. It's 12 7. Winner moves on to the Pinckneyville sectional. Britt. Now the Mules look to the far side. That was Edwards. Take it over. Edwards tips it over. Now back to the far side. That is hit way out of bounds. That almost went onto the stage. <laughs> In the air, not bouncing. Yeah. Bounced up on the stage. 13-7. It's going to be Barger, Edwards, and Turner up top. Now Massac takes it over. Edwards over. Oh, four. wow. Robbins. And Robbins takes it down for the point. Fourteen seven mules have doubled up Massac County, looking to close things out in here in two and get a regional championship. Just short. That one right into the net, and that gives Massac County the serve back. Addie Gower for Massac County back to serve. Long serve, it's dug out by the Mules. Edwards gets it up for Robbins. Robbins takes it down, it's dug out by Massac. Now Massac with the spike attempt, no, the tip attempt. Dug out by Robbins. Robbins again with the set, takes it right into the net, and that is a miss hit by the Mules and a point by Massac County. It's 14-9 now. Emerson Robbins did just about everything she could to get that over. Massac with the long serve. Edwards now looking for Turner. Turner it tips it right across. Now Massac to Hart on the far side. Oh, oh, into the net again. Riley Edwards tried that little swing shot to get it over the net and just could not do it. That's another point for Massac County. It's now 14-10. Timeout. Time out. We'll take one as well. You're watching Meal Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. The Fairfield Banking Company, your true locally owned hometown bank, says go mules. See them for checking and savings accounts and loans of all types. Lobby hours are 8.30 to 4 Monday through Friday and 8 to noon on Saturdays. And the convenient drive through they're open 8 to 5 Monday through Thursday, 8 to 6 on Friday and 8 to noon on Saturday. The Fairfield Banking Company, 915 Commerce Drive in Fairfield. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Fairfield Sigla, your locally owned hometown grocery store, 709 West Main, wishes to meals a great season, open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Sunday. Save a lot offers fresh fruit and produce and fresh cut meats, all at everyday low prices. Check out their Facebook pages for weekly specials. Jet Snyder took that time out to try and stymie the Massac County momentum. They still lead. 14-10, but Massac has scored a couple straight here. Jet Snyder just wanted to make a couple of adjustments. Massac with the long serve from outside, dug out by the Mules. Edwards looks back for Robbins. Robbins tips it across, dug out by Massac. Massac looking to the far side. They'll spike it. It's blocked out by the Mules, and that's a point for Massac County. Mules popped it up at the net and just... Could not get a body in there to pop it back up one more time. 14-11 now. Massac County fighting for their lives. Edwards over for Robbins. Robbins takes it down, blocked at the net by Massac County and out of bounds. And the Mules have got the ball once again. It's 15-11. And Lucy Britt, top of the serving order, back for the Lady Mules. Britt sends it across. Cockle the libero. 
Pops it up. They'll get it on the far side. It's tipped Ooh, out. Mule. Save. Nice diving oh. save. Oh, oh Lucy Britt just could not get it, that ball, the English on the ball, and get it back inbounds. 16-12 now in favor of the Mules. Massac County still hanging around still. As I said, they're fighting for their lives. Cockle with the serve. Edwards looking for Robbins. Robbins will that, take ooh, it that down. Was close. That's it. And it is in on the far side, and that's another point for the Mules. 15-12 down. That was a close one. That was a close one. Gracie Atwood checking in for the Mules. Back to serve is going to be Riley Edwards. Edwards over to Massac. Now to Hart. Hart trying to tip, tip it, it over. It's blocked by the Mules. Massac blocked again. Wow. Now Massac. And it's yes. over. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just kept blocking it. If I'm not mistaken, that was oh. Kate Brook on wow. all three blocks. That is awesome. Just ready every time. Wow. I'm going to throw out my... Uh, my Kate book moniker in there. Can you smell what the Kate is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> Hart will take it over, and that's, oh, that's out of bounds. Another point for the Mules. Let's go. 18-12. Derek done again. I got to read it for him every time he says it. Book, book it, it says Kate. We also got Kate Book. Mules. Take it over one more time with the serve. They'll send it to the far side. It's blocked again at the oh. net by the Mules, and... Just could not save it inbounds. 18-13 now. Man, what an exciting game. Mules closing in on a regional championship. Seven points away from a regional title and a trip to Pinckneyville for the sectional Monday evening. Long serve. Mules bump it up. Now Edwards over to Robbins. Robbins will take it down. Massac County over to the far side. A little tip up top. Now Lucy Britt. Britt to Robbins. Robbins yes. takes it down and a point for the Mules. 19-13 Mules. Getting that lead back up there. Just what we needed. Emerson Robbins with the serve. Massac, Hart takes it over. Now to, oh, that was a good tip. Book, Book, tipped it over. Could not get the point, though. Robbins bumps it up. Now to Edwards. Edwards over for Barger. Oh, Barger hey. tried to tip it over and could not. That's another point for Massac, 19-14 now. As we said, stick around after the game. Win or lose, we're going to talk to Coach Chet Snyder. We hope it's going to be a win for the Mules. Mules get it over. Massac County looks to Hart. No, they tip it over to the oh! far side. Oh. That was a hard one to get back. Yeah. Caught goodness. the Mules a little off guard. That's another point for Massac. They're back to within four. They just keep hanging around and hanging around. And when you're fighting for your life, that's what you want to do. What you got to do. Massac with the serve. Over to Edwards, now to Robbins. Robbins oh. will send it far out of bounds. Another point for Massac County. 19-16. Massac brings it over. Mules going to set it up. They'll take it over. Massac now sets it up. They're looking, no, to the far side, and that oh. is... Yes. Point, Massac County. Oh, man. Massac County now within two, 19-17, a timeout. You're watching Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. At Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, Stephen and Tiffany say you're not just a customer, but a part of their family. Open 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, right next to Save-A-Lot in Fairfield. They feature a full line of over-the-counter products like high-potency orthomolecular vitamins. Plus, Stephen says those specially compounded pain creams are back at Potts Family Pharmacy in Fairfield, right next to Save-A-Lot.
Got some cheering going on here now. You betcha. Mules Volleyball is brought to you by Rush Appliance and Furniture, Black's Flowers and Gifts, Christina Copeland Country Financial, the Fairfield Banking Company, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, Hodge Family Pharmacy, the Connard Financial Group, Eagles National Bank, Wabash General Hospital, RJ Marketing, Carter Trucking, Hashtag No Tan Lines, Wayne County Farm Bureau, FNB Fairfield National Bank, and Carnaby Square. Second set action here, the Mules leading 19-17 over Massac County. They took the first set 25-19. They're looking to close it out here and head to Pinckneyville on Halloween for a sectional matchup with either Nashville or Carterville. Massac with the serve. Now Lucy Britt pops it up. Mules are going to have to send it over. Now they'll get it over to Massac. Massac looking for the far side. It's Clark. blocked at the net. Now Massac gets it over to the back side. Mules going to get it up for Barger. Barger takes it over easily. Now Massac looking to oh. hit it out of bounds. Oh, no. Oh. Point Massac. And Massac within one. Got some info from Derek here. He says Nash Nashville defeated Carterville in two sets. So winner of this regional faces Nashville. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate it very much. Massac looking to tie here. Mules looking to break the serve. He'll get it over. Yeah, and that is up. a yes. point for the Mules. Kate Book, 2018. Mules going to get Chelsea Cuff in to serve. Also checking in is going to be Kenzie Turner. The front line is going to look like this now. It's a close Turner, set. Book and Edwards. Cuff sends it down deep. Now Massac looking to Hart. Hart takes oh. it down. That's uh, going to be a point for Massac County. 20 to 19. Massac County has been close. They've not been able to get over to the hump, though. Massac looking to tie here. Ball oh, up. Man. And we are tied at 20 now. Massac. Fans are coming off their feet. They're really getting into it now. Yeah, that was that was just unlucky there. That was. Monique Hart back to serve for Massac County. Hart Ooh. will send That's it out. out of bounds. That's what we needed. Add 21, breaks 20. to serve and for the Mules. Mabry Ellis is going to check in. It's going to be Turner. And Ellis gets it over. And that oh, is an ace for the Mules. 21, 22, 20 now. We weren't ready for that one. Three more. Mabry Ellis back to serve once again. She'll get it over to Massac County. Massac County to the far oh. side, and they get a point. Spike was blocked at the net. Mules just could not dig it out. Abigail Martin back to serve now for Massac County. Man, this game is something. Mules going to set it up. Bike down oh, by Edwards. Will they save it? Massac will save it inbound. Now Britt over to Edwards to Turner. Turner Man. takes it down. Massac digs it out to the far side. That's that out. That's out. Yes, let's go. go. Point. Mule. 23-21 now. Massac not happy with that one. That no, one definitely not. looked out to me, though. Wow. Chelsea, Chelsea Cuff going to serve. We've got another oh, timeout. Coach. You are listening to Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing.
Conard Financial Group can help you build a diverse portfolio to keep you on track with your financial goals. Conard Financial Group can help you with retirement planning from 401ks to IRAs, 401k rollovers, college saving plans, life and long-term care insurance, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and certificates of deposits. Over 46 years of combined experience in the financial industry. They'll help you plan and invest for your future, whatever your goals may be. Give them a call or stop by Conard Financial Group, LLC, investing in the community since 2003. Wabash General Hospital is now accepting new patients of all ages at the Albion Medical Clinic. Call 618-445-8170 to schedule your appointment for any number of services, including primary care, orthopedic and sports medicine, lab draw, and diagnostic imaging. Wabash General Hospital. People you know, helping people you love. Fields two points away from a regional championship here. Leading 23-21 over Massac County in set two. They took set one, 25-19. Chelsea Cuff with the serve for the Mules. Takes it down. It oh, is it. going to be brought over by Massac County. Now Edwards sends it over for Robbins. Robbins takes it down. Robbins with the kill. Kill. Yes. One more point. And now Cuff back up top to serve now. Max point for the Mules. Regional championship point for the Mules. Let's go. Chelsea Cuff with the serve. And oh. it is long. Oh, goodness. A little too much ump on that yeah. volleyball, and it's 24-22 now. Massac serving from the far side here, right in front of their own student section. Britt over to Edwards, and then to Let's go! Oh, no! Have won the regional championship. That spike knocked out of bounds, and it's 25-22, second set for the Mules. And That's they beat a game. Massac that County 2 0. They will play Nashville on Monday night at 5 30. Wow. You are watching Neil Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. Do you have a check that needs deposited and don't have time to make a trip to the bank? No problem. With Mobile Deposit at People's National Bank, just snap a picture of the check with your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks, it's deposited into your account. Depositing a check with a PNB 2 go mobile banking app is just that easy. Just tap, snap, and deposit. Plus, it's free. Download the PNB 2 go mobile banking app today to get started. People's National Bank. We make banking easy. Member FDIC. Wireless or service fees may apply. Raylan James Marketing, marketing done your way. No matter how small your business is, we're here to help with everything from social media management to search engine optimization. Needing a website or business cards, a flyer for your upcoming event? We do that too. Hometown people helping out our hometown businesses. Contact us today at 618 315 3611 or email claire at raylanjames.com to see how we can help your business grow. Go Mules! Hashtag No Tan Lines wants to wish the Lady Mules a safe and successful volleyball season. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield has 14 tanning beds for your convenience. That includes levels 1 through 4 and stand-up beds. They've got accessories, lotions, and more. Plus check out their line of boutique clothing in all sizes, including plus sizes. Hashtag No Tan Lines at 106 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-6336 to get your tan on. 
Looking for something special for that special someone? Let Black's Flowers and Gifts in downtown Fairfield help with a custom floral or silk arrangement, balloon or candy bouquet, or gift item. Give Black's a call at 618-847-7076 for pickup or delivery, or just stop by and say hi at 310 East Main in Fairfield. Black's Flowers and Gifts, your florist with a personal touch. They'll take on Nashville in the sectional on Monday. Chet, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. It was a uh, quite a match. It's tough enough beating three, beat the team three times in one year, but beat them three times in two sets in one year. Be tough. Yeah. That's how proud I am of our girls. We knew that um, we had not ever seen their best, and they. Massac fought and fought and fought there at the end. And 21 and 2, their outsides made their competitors. And um, our girls just kept battling and battling. And we, we won a regional championship. That is so great. And now you head down to the sectional at Pinckneyville, 530 on Monday, and Nashville beat Carterville in two sets. What do you know about them? I don't know anything about them. So I know that if they beat Carterville, they're really good. And... Um, I know Josh will have them prepared. We have not seen them this year. Um, he came into our tournament and sat there all day and watched us. Um, so we'll we'll do everything we can to be prepared on Monday to beat Nashville. Congratulations on the regional championship. We'll let you get out and celebrate. Okay, thanks a lot. Do you want to talk to any of the girls? Sure, bring them over if you want. Paul Snyder, she's in Champaign. My daughter, Mikhail, and her boyfriend, my boy Jay, yeah, Miss Tucker, my cousin Kate, uh, Becky, she was mad at me because I didn't give her a shout out. My list is getting long, Mark. Yeah. And my daughter's Mary Lee McHale. Mary, I don't know who I've done. My sister, Kathy, yeah. Shout out to everybody. All right. Who do you want me to talk to? Hey, Lucy, come here. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> What an exciting, what an exciting match! It's uh, as asking coach. Uh, it's tough enough to beat somebody three times in one year, but to beat them in two sets three times is pretty tough. Yeah, I know. Coming into this match, we just we had to get our mindset like we hadn't played them before, and we came out and played good, and we knew what we were up against, and we fought hard just to win and get to this point. Exciting to get to go to the sectional and one more win toward your goal of getting to the super section at Fairfield. Yep. Yeah, that's our goal is to get back home. Uh, we're tired of these long drives. I know that. So that's our end goal is to get back home, and we'll do it one game at a time. All right, Lucy, congratulations. We'll see you down the line. Thank you. All right, Lucy Britt of the Lady Mules. Congratulations to the Lady Mules. They're riding an 18-game winning streak, and they are the regional champions here at Anna Jonesboro and will take on Nashville at 5.30 p.m. on Monday, and we'll be there for you right here on Mule Nation, powered by RJ Marketing. More of the post game coming up in a couple of minutes. This evening's broadcast is sponsored by the Wayne County Farm Bureau. Members of the Wayne County Farm Bureau earn a return on their membership dues. Members are eligible for a $500 special offer on Ford trucks, discounts at popular hotels and on car rentals, discounts on John Deere, Case IH, and CAT equipment, as well as discounts at theme parks, restaurants, movie theaters, and a whole lot more. Associate memberships are only $20 per year. Become a member of the Wayne County Farm Bureau today. Go to waynecfb.com slash membership and learn how. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, a membership that means something. FNB would like to take a moment to say thank you to all our area farmers. You truly are the heart of the heartland. Whether it's for this season's crop or the next crop of seasoned farmers, FNB is proud to support you by offering agribusiness services, products, and solutions designed to help you grow. FNB, banking, business, life, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Looking for something comfy to watch the big game on? 
Rush Appliance and Furniture in Fairfield has got you covered with a huge selection of Lazy Boy recliners, love seats and sofas. There's also mattresses, bed frames, bedroom suites, dining sets, appliances, and more. Plus, you'll get world-class service at Rush Appliance and Furniture. 118 West Main in Fairfield. Call 618-842-4096. Carnaby Square, your fashion leader at 115 East Main in downtown Fairfield, wishes the mules good luck this year. See Christy and all the Carnaby girls for the personal attention you deserve. Serving the area for more than 42 years, Carnaby Square has famous name brand clothing, corky shoes and Brighton jewelry, watches, handbags and sunglasses. Plus they've got men's belts and wallets. Open 9 to 5 Monday through Saturday until 7 on Thursday. Like them on Facebook and check out their live videos every Thursday at 5.30. Mules with an exciting 25-19, 25-22 win over Massac County to win the regional championship. What an exciting match. That was Man, that was so incredible. Exciting. All right, so here's here's the here's what we've got coming up the rest of the week. We've got audio only 2A football playoff action from Verdon North Mac on Saturday afternoon just before 2 o'clock. And then Monday afternoon, just before 5.30, we have got sectional volleyball action. The Mules taking on the Nashville Lady Hornets. Some exciting stuff there. You betcha. That is going to wrap it up for tonight. For Grady Simpson, for Bob Ellis, I'm Mark Turner. High school volleyball is brought to you by Carnaby Square, FNB Fairfield National Bank. The Wayne County Farm Bureau, Carter Trucking, hashtag no tan lines, RJ Marketing, Wabash General Hospital, People's National Bank, the Connard Financial Group, Potts Family Pharmacy, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, the Fairfield Banking Company, Christina Copeland Country Financial, Black's Flowers and Gifts, and Rush Appliance and Furniture. Mules Volleyball has been a production of Mule Nation, powered by 